Hello everyone and welcome to another Tips and Tricks video. My name is Dan Lopez and I'm the Technical Manager for Tecla Power Fab here at Trimble. I wanted to do a quick video today about Cutlass and the new interface, which, you know, is not that new, but we still have uh, several clients utilizing the old interface. So I wanted to highlight uh, some of the advantages of using the new interface and how easy it is to manipulate things around uh, for you guys to get more comfortable and, and get into these new interfaces that offered you just so much more power than before. I'll try to make this a quick video, a simple one, just for, you know, make it clear and, and not so convoluted. So I'll, I'll jump right in into the cut list here in PowerFab Go. Now this is, as you can see, it's already on the new interface, uh, but we always have this option here on the upper right, which is like a little, a little clock that will send you back to the old interface. Some of you guys will still remember this interface where you can uh, go and expand and that's all you get, right? This is the de the current details and the drawing, the view to the model, uh, and the, the possibility to get the CNC files and the STB plus files, which again, it's it's all available in the new interface as well and so much more information, right? That the thing about the new interface is that it's actually customizable. So if I go to the same Cutlass new interface, uh, here's the information. First of all, this will ad adapt better in your mobile devices, right? When you are seeing this from a tablet or a cell phone, uh, the way that this adapts to the screen, it will be way better than in the old version. Uh, you can also filter out for on, to only see the pieces that are ready to be cut or even the ones that are, um, you know, waiting for material or just the completed one. So it's, it's there is filtering options in there. Uh, you can see the details here, right, for the for the pieces that you need to cut. You still have access to the drawing and to the model from here, as you can see, CNC files, DSTV Plus, all that remains the same. One thing that changes is the columns here, you can see that we have so much more information and that's customizable, right? So if, if you go to this little uh, upper right gear button, uh, you can see that you can include different information. Uh, you can sort the order of things, like if you wanna have the, for example, the daytime cut uh, at the very beginning, I can change the order for that. And then on the parts level, I can go and again, change the order of some of these things. Like maybe I wanna see the next station uh, right before the sequence and apply those changes, go the page, the page refresh. So if I go in and expand the details again, you can see that the order is sorted in the way that you want it now. So it's customizable in that sense. Now, uh, the other advantage is in this new interface, you have the start clock as well. Uh, we did a tips and tricks video uh, recently, a couple of months ago about uh, the start and, and stop functionality. So that's available on the new interface. Another functionality that it's also uh, just available on this uh, new screen is the swap functionality, right? So in the past, when you process beams, uh, you have always had the chance to, you know, select uh, a heat number. Also, this looks different between the old and this new version. Uh, this gives you much more details and it's also searchable. So you can, you know, type a few characters, like I can go and say 51, and then uh, find the, the at the right heat number. So in the in the old interface, you will have to scroll down all the way to find the, the heat number that you're looking for. Uh, but the swap functionality is not only about swapping heat numbers, right? It also shows you possibilities of material. If there is any material in your inventory that will be a little bit longer and is not combined to other assemblies, uh, users can have the functionality to select those pieces as well. And this you can see here that it's highlighted on yellow uh, basically the things that will be different against the bar that you have selected uh, right now. So there is really more flexibility on that swap interface here as well. Uh, and then that swap functionality is also available on the picking list at this level, right? In the old interface picking list, it was really just a place to go and, and maybe put that you move the material from the location in your yard to your shop. Uh, here on the picking list, uh, you can do the same moving the materials, but you can also uh, go and see details of the pieces that you will be cutting and also make the swap of the bars that you will be cutting uh, from here, right? So if you if, if in your shop, you have a guy that usually is pulling the material from the jar and he and you want him to do the, the swap of the heat numbers that he's picking uh, from the picking stage instead of at the cutting stage, uh, that's also possible in this new functionality. So it's really, uh, 
really just more flexibility on when you do those things. So if I go to cut list back again, uh, the other thing that I want to mention, which is the last one really just to keep it brief, it's also the filtering functionality, right? So uh, here in this new cut list interface, you can uh, search uh, for a specific piece mark, for example. So if I am I'm looking for a beam in particular, I can go and type, um, I don't really remember the marks that I have, or I will go and say B10. And then if I go and expand the details, you can see that these filter out uh, any mark that has B10 as container under under shape. So it's really easy for the operator to, you know, find a specific bar uh, when they need to. So uh, I hope this was a little bit clear. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, feel free to contact your help desk area. And again, if you are still working on this old interface, don't wait too long. Go to the new interface, it's just way more powerful and I'm sure you're gonna like it. So as always, thank you for watching.